What's up, everyone? September 21st, 2020. Back again for a large cap planning ahead webinar here. All right, so pre-market, really the attention here is, is um, everybody's got eyes on NKLA. CEO <clears throat> Trevor Milton stepped down. He did some shady shit. Uh, now, hopefully, the company's headed in the right direction. But I do think they have a lot of things to answer for. Uh, still, I, I don't think they're out of the woods by any means. Because, I mean, just for the simple fact that, uh, whoa, the simple fact that there is way too much shit on my charts right now. For the simple fact that um, <laughs> go American Airlines, um, there's just so many people underwater with NKLA. All right, let's let's just kind of zoom out here. Remember over here, this was VTIQ, and so now every person that bought the NKLA merger is underwater. Okay. They, they're pretty much underwater or breaking even at best. So there is, it's bad. It's bad news in the interim. Um, I do think that there's a lot of short interest here. Uh, but with that said, you know, this is, this is not something that you, you need to, you need to start going long because I mean, there's no trend sign. There's no sign of a bounce yet. And so just be careful on the sides of NKLA. It's down a lot. And so since it's down a lot, that doesn't make it the best short. It's kind of like, if you're shorting that, if you're shorting this now, I'm, I'm going to just kind of say you're probably going to be late to the party and it's going to chop around and not really be a good trader. So I'm not really convinced NKLA is anything to really mess with. <laughs> Overall market, this is uh, probably where everybody's attention is. So the overall market is... Uh, Gapping down quite a bit. We're at 1.6%, roughly 2% almost, which is pretty much like that's the juice normally. Um, this 320 level is very key. 320, 320, and um, 320 and then 300. That's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Now, um, from a technical standpoint. I'm I'm bullish off of the open for a bounce for this for this fill back to 330. I'm I'm bullish on that scenario. I don't think that the market is just going to continue to sell. Granted, um, we are looking at um, uh, a lot of selling, and. I see a lot of people getting more aggressive to the short side, hoping for another like correction like this. Um, I'm just not convinced we're going to get another correction like this. I know people are trying to find whether there's correlations, but I just, I don't see correlations because this was news driven. It was news driven and then it became technically driven and then, and so on. There was a catalyst behind this entire thing. There's not really a catalyst here. It's the technical more than anything. And because I mean, the Fed has sat there and said, hey, we're buying more, we're buying more, we're not slowing down, we're buying more, we're not slowing down. Um, <clears throat> I just think that normally how the market goes is once the herd decides that it's time to short, it's time to long normally. So 
you know, down here at 220, everybody was like, oh my God, it's going under 200. Like myself included. But at that moment, boom, that's when everything goes. And so when I look at commentary in the large cap channel and I look at the market and I look at the state of things and that that's, and that's, that's how you use the advantage to all of that. Uh, use that stuff to your advantage because you can see what other people's thoughts are. You can see that uh, most people are short biased and that leads me to lean to the long side still because the more that gather to the short side, the worse it's going to be um, for them on the bounce. Yeah, I, I agree, Todd. It feels like the negative sentiment in the market in terms of just reading in the chat channel is very high. Um, now, I haven't looked on Twitter. I haven't looked on anywhere else. I don't really watch those sources for you know whether people have been uh, bullish or, or continue to be bullish or bearish. I haven't really watched any of that, so I can't really say. I remain bullish on the bounce um, until, you know, until proven otherwise. If, if the SPY loses 320, heavily loses 320, then um, okay, all right, you now have my attention. But again, I feel like I'm joining the parade on the bear side, like late. Um, and it's, 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 the same, it's the same thesis. The bears were selling when all the longs wanted to buy, right? All, everybody was continuing to buy the market up here because there was no signs of retracement. There was no signs of anything. It was just signs like oh, bah, 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 just higher, 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 higher. And so, you know, that's when the bears began to sell and or short per se. And so th now that everybody that was wishing they shorted up here is ready to short down here. And that's like, that's how the normal person in me like feels is it's, oh, it's getting time to short. And I'm like, well, hang on there, tiger. That was, and so you have to consider that situation. You have to put yourself in, your, in, in, in the shoes of someone else that, um, and granted that I know a lot of people aren't believers in RSI, but when the market goes oversold in a normal technical situation, it's usually a really good bounce. Um, if you notice here, oversold market almost. I mean, we just tapped the line, dink, and then bup, 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 bup. Now, in this case over here, you can't really analyze this because this was news driven. If we get some kind of news that pushes the market lower, yes, we're going to get to crazy extended levels. But in a normal trending market, when you go oversold like this, find a technical level and get long. And have a risk always. But I mean, when you zoom out and look at this, look at this every time, even in, um, in 2018, we reached this bottom of oversold here, but the moment that we go oversold, when you kind of zoom in like this, we start to bottom. We start to find a bottom almost every time. Here you had the news driven scenarios. These were, these were news driven days. And so news driven days can push you outside of this. What I'm saying is, is when there is nothing news driven, I don't see any kind of press releases that are pushing the market lower. I see a like a crap load of, of headlines today uh, for the spy and for everything that goes along with that. Uh, I mean, I, but, but from what I see, it all has to do with Supreme Court justices and the TikTok deal. Um, and so I, I don't think that that is market related. So um, I'm looking at this in terms of just technical. So you've got the big correction in, in 2018, right? Uh, the big market correction in 2018. 
And then after that point, you have your first touch of oversold here, and then you have more continued downside, but it doesn't really go that far. It only goes five more points under this low right here. And then it continues to bounce from there. And we find another bottom here. And then we find another bottom here. And so the odds that this starts to bounce to me, it, now that the RSI is, is this, it's going to be oversold at the open. Like there's no doubt in my mind because we were at 34 uh, in terms of RSI when we were at 330 and we're gapping down to 325, 326. There's, I mean, it, it, this thing is going to open oversold. Uh, whether it's right at 30, a little under 30, I'm not sure, but I'm eyeballing this 320 line. This 320, 320, 320, 320, 320, 320, like all of that's big time support, okay? And we should have the moving averages curling into this as well. Um, let's look at what the SMAs are doing. This is what everybody sees. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to put on here like, hey, what is everybody looking at? The 50 period. Um, and then the freaking thing, come on, 100, so we're under the 50, approaching the 200. <clears throat> we may not touch the 200 exactly. We may get close. We could get close. We could get close, but this 320 line is a big line, okay? Um, I'm getting some, some signals from, from, a, from another system that I'm testing that now is the ideal entry points. We're getting into those ideal entry zones, 325, 324. RSI is aligning with this, like, Everything is starting to line up. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm looking at this and going, mm, you know, I know that I kind of want to, um, I want to start jumping, the bear inside of me wants to start jumping on some shorts, but I think it's the wrong timing. Um, the time for me to be short was in this euphoria, euphoric time, but my problem with that is that how high does it go, right? How high does it go? I know the market bounces like easily. I know the market bounces regardless of, I mean, the market, okay, cool. 35% retracement, whatever fam, just sit back. You'll retrace that entire thing in six months. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's, this is not normal by any means but that's that's the thing is it's like okay you've got to believe in the dip um because i mean we we're, we're years away from the, the the economy failing when we've put ourselves in the current state if presidency changes if the house changes and and everything changes and the white house goes from from red to blue you know, I don't think we're going to fall immediately into a true recession. Okay. I'm still not in the belief that we were, we are in a recession. Um, you know, some people are going to call me crazy that they're like, small businesses are shutting down. This is shutting down. This is shutting down. And I'm like, yeah, I couldn't agree more. I know that they're shutting down. I see that. The thing that we don't see is foreclosures. And so there's no confirmation of a recession until December when the eviction ban lifts. There's nothing that can confirm that. Yes, the debt, we are up to debt in our eye, uh, uh, we are up to our eyeballs in debt. We've been up to eyeball, we've been up to our eyeballs in debt for freaking years, but we are at, you know, an all time level that, that is, that is ungodly. Um, and so the, the factors are there. The factors are there that, you know, after the presidency election, you know, we, we have a lot of things to consider. And with that said, recessions are slow, okay, in the markets. So if you look back at 2001, 2008, um, 
those are just the mo most recent recessions. Big market corrections are drastic and fast, okay? True recessions are slow and painful recoveries, all right? They are year and a half types of time. They usually last about 18 months. About 14 to 18 months is the average recession. If this were a real recession, we have just defied all odds, right? In, in a matter of three months or in a matter of 30 days, the market corrected itself 35% and then rebounded the entire move. Well, let me ask you a question though. This is something that we have to ask ourselves. This is what we have to ask ourselves here, okay? This current state of the market prior to COVID, were we in a situation where um, we deserved this type of sell-off from a fundamental standpoint? Not from a technical standpoint, not from technical, I'm not asking about technical. From a fundamental standpoint, okay? In 08, what did we have? Financial crisis subprime loans that got smoked on the mortgage side, okay? In 01, what did we have? Dot-com bubble, dot-com burst, okay? Right? Whoa. Dot-com bubble burst. Now, what do we have? Now, people are calling it a tech bubble, okay? People in this day and age, in the 20s, are calling it tech bubble. So, We've got a lot of things that that are, yeah, the roaring 20s, that's for sure. Um, we've got a lot of things that are uh, very contradictive, uh, contradicting, contradictive, contradicting of each other, okay? So we have to be cautious with that. And <clears throat> I'm not... I'm just not convinced that now is the time to get short. You know, we, we have all the rules aligning with this. You know, every time we say, hey, look, when the market gaps down largely in your favor as a short seller, you need to be a seller at the open because it's gonna make, it's gonna make, your, it's gonna make your life a lot easier in terms of getting back in if the trend continues to follow down. But in the event that it reverses, you know, you avoid that, you avoid that headache and that heartache. So I think, again, it's a day for covers. Um, and especially now that you've got RSI leading into this oversold situation uh, and we're coming into technical support in all these zones, you know, now it's, it's now, it, now it's, don't be greedy on the short side. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Take the money. Take it. Take it. I'm sorry, but I'm not convinced that this is going to happen again. Okay. So, so if somebody on the short side is holding out for something like this, yeah. Okay. When the market bounces, you deserve to lose everything that you had unrealized because you're greedy. You deserve it. If you don't realize jack shit because you're holding to, you know, change your life, change your family's lives, do this, do that. You're a greedy motherfucker, and you're never going to be rewarded for that. The market is never going to continue to reward you for that. So I, it's just proven time and time and time and time again that should be the scenario. So I, at the open, I'm looking for the market to find a bottom. Uh, again, you know, I'm looking 310, 300, 310, 320. I don't think it's going to touch those today. I really don't think it's going to touch those. I think maximum we touch today is around 320. Um, but just be cautious, guys. Just be cautious, 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 cautious on the long side. You don't need, it, it, it's a wide stop scenario for me on the short side. I would be a, I would be, I would be a very tight stop, wide stop on the long side, tight stop on the short side. Um, because we are getting into that zone of, of when it becomes time to, uh, uh, start to bounce. So if you, if we use like stock charts here, uh, let's go like spy. And we do this in terms of like a normal little correction within a trend. You will see that 
a normal correction in the market when we draw from about here, here right there roughly we're looking at about 12 to 13 percent okay so 11 and a half percent is down here 12 and 13 percent is pretty much going to be about the 200 day moving average 310 300 310 320 that's where everything starts to lie is is between 11 and 13% is is really where I'm waiting for cuz so 11% if you notice 11% is right around this 320 level 320 and then 310 320 and 310 that's pretty much the band on on like a normal market correction scenario so i i mean there's i don't think it's time to be bearish i don't think it's time to be bearish i think it's time to be bullish um yeah so that that's 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 my thoughts on that let's uh see what questions we had here uh if the herd is going short the market usually does the opposite but how does that work if the money and the volume is short shouldn't the market go short monies go right through no uh, so here's the deal um buckle is retail likes to voice their uh, thesis, right? Retail says, retail is what the, the, is retail is what Wall Street refers to as the herd, okay? Um, people like us, the normal retail day traders. Once we start to join like the, and we're like, buy it all, buy, 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 and everybody is buying, 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 buying then institutions stop that. And so retail starts to trip over themselves. And if everyone is buying, you get exhaustion, okay? You run out of supply. You run out of supply and reality kicks in and that's when you get the retracement. And the market corrects itself. And so it's just simple. It's simple economics. So thoughts on snow. Thoughts are just avoid it for a week or so. Um, I don't really have any thoughts on snow. I think that it's just stuck in a shitty range. Um, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not entirely too convinced with this. I mean, this is, just, this is a massive bag holder scenario for everybody that bought in 270s. Um, gapping down to 227, obviously that's following the queues. Um, the queues are at a pretty technical level for a bounce too. So we're in a very tech driven market. Um, and it's, we're we're getting into those points of when the market should start to find its base here you know the, the queues could honestly go all the way back to 240 but we never know we never know it's in these situations i'm just going to follow the technical support levels and i'm going to start buying start buying i still hold a position of spy of which i am i'm not even fully scaled into um and the it's not until like late next month that my options expire. And so I'm down on that position right now, but um, I can dollar cost average into that position uh, with a tight stop once I see some bottoming. So I'm still not fully into that position yet. Snow, yeah, snow again, I, I don't have any comments on this right now. I don't, I have no interest in it. The volume has died off massively. Um, you know, huge IPO volume, low, low volume in terms of the day one. And then in, after that, I mean, this is just massive volume sell off, like just awful. So I, uh, snow might be kind of losing some attention. So I'm going to give snow like a week or two, and then I'm going to kind of come back to it and visit what's going on with it. So it's two minutes to the market open guys. I'm going to be wrapping up here. So I'm, I'm not really watching much. You know, you got the Oracle news. Um, 
I don't have much interest in trading Oracle. This is a very bearish kind of pre-market chart. So if anything, I'd be short biased. Um, Netflix and Tesla. Netflix, I'm just holding out on Netflix. I have a, whoa. Okay, hi there. <laughs> Hello, Netflix. I, no, I'm just kidding. I think that that's just a spread situation. Three point spread. So <clears throat> with Netflix, I'm just, I'm just sitting here. I've got a position in Netflix. Again, not fully into that position. Um, but I just want to see where the queues go. I want to see what the market does. I'm not, I'm not overly aggressive at the open, guys. I, there's no reason to be. I think a lot of people should be waiting for at least the first 30 minutes to open before you start to get really aggressive. So um, the ES, I think ES is selling off towards the open here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. So <clears throat> we're pretty far away from VWAP. Okay. Usually when we get far away from VWAP, we have some form of a bounce back towards it. So I would be really cautious on a bounce at the open. If I was a short seller, um, I would be ready to, I'd be ready to bail that. Yeah, of course the VIX probably, probably woke up today. Um, yep. VIX woke up. Not much, but woke up sort of. Yeah. Slightly woke up. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. You know, it, again, we could be we could be back to the scenario where the market bounces and the VIX goes red again. If the market bounces, VIX is going red again. That's just my thesis on that. Um, I think we're we're kind of at this height of the fear scenario. So you know, yeah. Tesla, they uh, battery day, right? Battery day happened yesterday, and uh, and we are we are moving. I I haven't even read the news, so there's market open. I'm just kind of give you guys some live little commentary here. Oh, it's tomorrow the twenty second. All right, okay, that's when it is. All right, all right. Well, you know, if you guys are trading, you do whatever you're gonna do. I'm not trading uh, off the open here. I'm just kind of watching. So let's. Um, Store, kind of see where we're at. Netflix, we're red slightly. Q's, we're red. NKLA, we're down nearly 30%. Freaking A, that's rough. Um, yeah, oof, jeez, it's nasty. So ES here. Oh, what happened? Oh, sorry guys. Um, for some reason it, it crashed down there. I don't know why. Sorry about that. Is it back now? Yeah, it's back now. So sorry about that. I don't know what's happening on that end. Uh, but here we are in the, you know, Netflix almost green now. Um, I'm just sitting here staying patient. So there's not really anything that I'm uh, too interested in trading yet, trading yet. So just kind of eyes on Tesla. Uh, I know you guys can't really see anything. I don't know why you can't see anything. I don't know what's happening here or why that happened. Let's see if I can try this again. Okay, that's back. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not, I'm not, 
I'm not too, I'm not too interested in much of this. So, um, I do like Netflix, uh, mainly because I already hold a position, but, uh, in terms of where we're going here, we're, we're, we're bouncing into this 470 line. So I think there's a good set risk down here at 458. Uh, but don't chase it up like this, you know, especially if you're going to trade options in terms of premium too. can't chase, you can't chase these because you're just going to get smoked uh, in terms of premium. So I think we hit this 470 and then we pull back a little bit, but if we jam right through it, if we jam through this 470, you know, I think we're going 480, 490 next. Um, but here you go, 470 topish. You could potentially go green. I'm not leaning to the short side, guys. I'm I'm bullish across the board. Uh, so here's the spy. But I think you need to be cautious, though. You need to be cautious on your positions that you're that you're taking. I'm not taking any positions off of the open. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not touching anything. I want some kind of clear indication first. So I'm going to give it you know, about 30 minutes until the market, until the markets had time to settle um, before I start to do anything. I'm not, I'm not really too, like, I'm, you guys are probably not used to a trading style like this. You're probably used to market opens. Go, 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 go. All in, get in. Large caps, man, you got plenty of time. Plenty of range, plenty of time, plenty of reason to just be patient. Netflix still pushing, but we're finding some sellers here in the 470s. Not a lot of volume. See, I'm just not, I'm not convinced yet that there's a reason to buy Netflix off of this morning move. So we're just going to see where it goes. The markets are just kind of chilling, okay? Spy is selling down. Your outlook always generally on a Monday morning, see where the weekend data comes in and what price for the setup. If there's no clear like setups, then I just sit back and chill. There's no reason to like be like overly aggressive and ready to um to really do anything. You know, it, it's it's uh yep, there's Netflix rejecting through 470. So Market selling down, market selling down. 324.65 is that pre-market low. Qs, 262s. We're really not doing much off of the open. We're just kind of really not doing anything, okay? Uh, we're at S1 here, 262.30. And we can see 257.75. PTON's moving. In KLA bounce, nice ten percent bounce. Hello, look at that, nice little squeeze. I hope in KLA squeezes. I hope it does. I'm not going to try to predict it though. I'm not going to try to predict that it's going to squeeze. I'm just going to sit back. PTON, nice red green move. Um, that's pretty straight up at the top of the range. So yeah, yeah. All right, new pre market low in the market. This is where shorts start to get overly aggressive here. So we could either see a big sell off or we're going to see a big reversal. I'm not taking any positions, just kind of offering some commentary here. Not taking anything. Again, remember that level I'm eyeballing is around 320. I do kind of want to start longing spy, to be honest with you guys. I do want to. Start. Um, taking little baby positions. Uh, Hughes, I, I just kind of have that same feeling. I just have that same feeling that I want to start getting long some stuff in this pool, but it's, we're only 10 minutes into the market. We're seven minutes into the market open. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time, plenty of time. No reason to rush this. No reason to get overly aggressive here. Plenty of 
time. 324s getting eaten. Oh, what a day. What a day already. Eight minutes into the day, and we're like, oh my God, the world's coming to an end. What's everybody doing in large camps? Oh, opened Roku, Roku, Roku. Roku and Netflix pushing again. All the markets looking that. Da, 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 da. In KLA, in KLA, markets, markets, markets. Workhorse dumping. Yeah, workhorse isn't really a large gap, so I don't really care about it. FSLY on TikTok, but the news changes. Yeah, I wouldn't be trading this TikTok news, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't really be touching any of it. What's Oracle doing? Pulling back. Yep. This is that short setup um, that I I tend to like quite a bit, but eh, I'm not I'm not touching it. I'm not touching any of this. It's Monday. I feel the need to. <laughs> I feel the need. The need for speed. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I feel the need to kind of start taking positions. Uh, and so that might be a little early, but it kind of looks to me like the market is finding an interim morning bottom here. Q's 260-230, this over underline. We haven't broken pre-market pre -market lows. Um, market starting to bounce. Yeah, I'm just I'm starting to think it's time to grab some, get ready for the scoop. I mean, we're down minus 2% here almost in the markets. Minus 2% here, minus 1.8% here. We're, we're pretty much at the max bands to the downside. Here we go, Netflix. I'm just sitting here waiting. I've already got a position. Um, I think I'm still slightly down on it. Honestly, guys, I haven't even opened my trading platform. I haven't even opened it. That's my prevention to myself that I can't trade. Prevention is not even opening the platform. All right, here we go. Q's testing pre-market lows. Spy chewed through 324. Netflix is through 470, but not much. And new pre-market low in the Q's. So now you're going to see Netflix pull back, Roku pull back. You're going to see all those types of things. Roku jamming though. She don't even care. ZM looking nice. Ooh, ooh. ZM looking good for that orb setup. Ooh, god dang it. I'm going to have to open the trading platform. I think Zoom is probably going to crash again. I can't do it. Damn it. All right, so that's a textbook opening range break setup right here. Like red green move, supports VWAP, holds red green. We put a red candle in. I mean, this is this is textbook. I mean, I'm not buying it at this moment. This is not the time to buy it, but this is oh baby. Okay, so cues we tap just under pre market lows and we start to push back. So this is this is bulls stepping in trying to trap shorts. This is people remember. Over the weekend, uh, Friday was quad witching. Was it quad witching or triple witching? I don't know. It was witching. One of the ways, one way or the other. There was a lot of auctions, expirations. There was futures contracts, rollovers. There was all kinds of stuff. Um, and uh, it's, I don't like something like Apple, okay? Just to be honest with you guys, because it's super market related. Um, I think you need to be looking at things that defy the market, such as uh, Zoom. Zoom has defied the market. Zoom has defied the market. Tesla has defied the market. Uh, Tesla's got a nice potential setup here at 455. Um, like you can see, you can see this topping here. Um, AMD is doing the similar thing. 
Mm. I don't know. I don't really like that for an opening range break. It's too up, too up, too much, too, too, too much of a move. We're at 70 from 74 to 76. I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan. Do you see guy? do you see the difference here in, in zoom versus AMD AMD? Like look, look how big that candle is up and look how close VWAP is chasing AMD and then zoom. We're not really chasing it in terms of, of VWAP. So I like zoom more than AMD. It, it, this is similar setups. Okay. This is similar setups, but I see kind of a first bounce situation out of AMD and zoom. I see like an opening range break. Um, oh, fuck. I'm going to have to open a platform. If Zoom crashes again, guys, blame the ticker. Okay, did it work? I think it works. Okay, there's Zoom, there's the move. Uh, what's Netflix doing? Hey, good girl, good girl. Um, I don't know, man. Market's looking very bottomy. Oh, this huge open interest. Of course, there's huge open interest. We got another 15 minutes though. We got another 15 minutes though here. I might take a trade on ZM, but I don't want to chase it up in this direction. You know, we should see a pullback to about 445 ish, and the risk would be here on VWAP. It's got, what are we doing in the old options here? Jesus, Mary Mother, these are expensive. Golly. When did Zoom get so pricey? Oh, it's Monday too. Mm, 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 mm. Q's reclaiming VWAP. Q's are reclaiming VWAP. I'm, I don't know, guys. I'm liking this for, for the grind. I'm liking tech for the grind today. Q, spy. I mean, this is looking like a market bottom. Uh, for the day, I can't say for the week, but for the day, uh, this is looking pretty bottomy. Look, look at this. Look at the RSI, thirty-one point seven nine. So almost oversold. Almost, man. Netflix, what a move. Thank you, Mary Mother. Mary Mother of Christ. Um, ZM, just okay. I kind of like these 500s. No, I don't. That's so far out of the money. God dang. 460s have good volume. Open interest kind of sucks, though. No position yet. No position. I'm not taking a position yet. It's We're not really pulling back that much, which is a good sign for a move higher. But... You know, I just feel I'm just I'm just being a little greedy here on the entry. I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe we can get a little bit more of a dip, but we probably don't. And this thing fucking moves higher, and I don't get any peace. Uh, there's 446. Ah, this is getting bought. But Q's Q's are right at highs. No, this is. I think this is the move on Zoom. She's coming. It stuff's hard. It stuff's hard, but um, shit. I can't get filled. I'm trying to get filled. Nothing. Damn it. I missed it. Fuck. Well, sorry about that. I tried to get filled on the 460 strike. Wow, man, there it goes. Shit. 
fuck you, Monday. If we stuff 450 here, I don't know how we feeling on that. <sighs> nope, we're moving. Shit. FML. FML. 452. Options are already up two points. And I don't have anything. Well, I got Netflix going for me. That's a really nice move. <laughs> um, let's, let's look at this buy here. What are we doing? We held 324, which was my level that I wanted. We're at 325. What are we in? 950. 10 minutes till the market open. What are we looking like on a one hour chart? Man, Netflix, hot dog. Look at you go. How long am I on for? I don't know, I'm just sitting here, man. I'm just chilling. I'll just fucking talk all I want. Honestly, honestly, I could be on here until like uh, 11 a.m., 12 a.m. market time. <laughs> then I have one-on-one. -on -one, so, but I'm not going to do that because um, I've got to. I've got to go number two. Coffee, 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 coffee. Oh, just kidding. I know you guys all wanted to know that. AMD doing. I know somebody is probably trading that. Wow. Nice move. Nice move in AMD. Nice move. If you caught some, if you caught some math, go for it, baby. It looks very first bouncy to me. Um, in AMD, so eh, you know, this pull a pullback to you know 76. Scoop 76, sell, sell the quick push. You know, I, I kind of see a little bit of a scalp trade potentially on AMD. I'm not interested in it though. That's not my thing. Uh, but, you know, just, just some thoughts there for you. Fuse, um, here's something to talk about here. This, this is an opening range break, okay? But not that much, okay? However, with that said, mm, God dang it. I might have to long the cues, to be honest with you. To be honest with you guys, I might have to long this shit. September 25th. Okay, that's this Friday's expirations. If I play this Friday's expirations, I want to be at the money or in the money. Um, and so I'm looking at these 264s, 265s. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to take it. Ah, fuck, I don't know. Oh. I like to pull the trigger, you pussy, but mm. yeah, there's the ZM potential pullback there. You know, we've got, there's plenty of time here for this to, for this to work. Um, Q's, this is really the line right here, this 263.50. At 263.50, as long as we're in that, God dang it. Okay. All right, hang on. I got to focus here or I'm going to lose a trade. I can tell you. I feel it.
I'm trying to buy some cues and I'm not going to get a fill probably. I can't chase it. I can't chase this up. I'm probably going to be too late on that. Um, but I like the cues for a grind. This has got a grind written all over it. Mm, canceling my order there. I think maybe there's an opportunity to get a better price. Premium's kind of selling off there. Uh, yeah. Let's see, oh man. God dang. We got 265 potential resistance. I don't know. I'm just going to chill, man. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. Spy still hasn't reclaimed a VWAP. Well, it kind of has. I mean, it just depends on what platform you look at. 325.26 or 325s. We're pretty much at VWAP. Just sitting here waiting. Five minutes. Are you always looking for both the spy and the queue? They never move when the rotate stickers on top. So I'm always looking at these two. I'm always looking at these two. I'm looking for what both are doing. You know, cues are telling us that we're gonna try to make a move higher. Spy is the lagger of the two. Spy is holding here at VWAP, and we have not reclaimed VWAP in the spy. Uh, granted that if we close good, like if we close, um, we got five more minutes for this hourly close here. If this hourly bar closes near this opening level, this like this 325, like 326 level, I'd love like a 326. There's the pullback in the queues. Glad I didn't chase that premium. Zoom defying all odds still. Market pulling back, pull back, pull back, pulling back. Typical markets lately have been that these opening range breaks aren't continuing. And so that's what's ha that's what has me hesitant on these. Um, yeah, look at that big retracement. Let's see, ZM just, she not listening. Big retracement in cues. There's something leading that. What's Tesla doing? Not really. Apple strong. Apple strong. What's Facebook doing? Ah, Facebook pulling back. Amazon pulling back. Okay. You know, I think we got time uh, for. You know, there's a lot of day left, guys. There's a lot of day left. We're we're freaking thirty minutes into this. And that's it. Oops. AMD. Nice move. Spy. Or sorry, not spy. What was it? Snow. Boring. What's CRM doing? Nice move, CRM. There we go. There we go. Oh, hey, I forgot. What's DK and G? Wow, that's nasty. Jesus, minus 10%. What are we doing, DKNG? What are we doing? What are we doing here, folks? Man, we had S4, 10% down. What happened to the pump? What happened to the pump? What the fuck?
Oh, big, big reclaim, big reclaim in the, in the market. Look at that candle. Yeah, their bulls are trying to get it. Bulls are trying to get it. Meanwhile, DKNG being a little bitch. Difference between SPY and the Qs? Overall market, tech. There's your difference. Oh, man. What balls do I even own? I've already forgotten. I think I own these October 16th. No, I don't. I own November's. That's what I own right there. And yeah, uh, fuck. I think that was the dip to long. <laughs> they already know. I think that was the dip to long in DKNG. I'm still green in my position. Like I bought this thing way down here at 47. Like I got bought down here in this little candle right there. That little week. That reclaim in the queues. Mm. Really could we really could trap there. What the look at this candle on a five minute chart. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. That's a wick. If there ever was one. Spy still struggling at VWAP. 325.50, man. That's the level. We got to get over that. Here we are at the close of that candle. Right there, right there, right there. Now is now is the time when I start making decisions to start scooping shit. Um, I'm really tempted to add some more. Yeah, Lee. I'm gonna hold off on DK. Nice. We need to get over 480. Spy. I'm fucking long and spy. I'm doing it. God dang it. Where's my position? Now, guys, don't, don't, don't even think about. I'm. I've already got a position, and I'm already building things. Don't by any means. Just sharing my thoughts. Do not. Stuffing at VWAP again. Uh, I got to see a move on this over 325.50. Netflix looking good. Is looking good. Nope, we still stuffing at VWAP. We can't. We just still. We still struggling. It's early. It's early, folks. Thirty minutes into the day. Thirty minutes into the morning. Thirty minutes into a Monday. I mean, there's, there's oodles and gobs of time. ZM was the move, man. ZM was the move. And I hesitated for two seconds. All right, Q's losing VWAP. Try and test. Uh, we got S1 here, VWAP here. There's no telling what to do. No telling. 
kind of thinking that we're just burning premium today. No, nah, man, I don't see a setup in the markets. Oh, oh man, I'm tired. Why is that stuck in my head? Ah. That's a pretty big rejection. Is there news or no? Can't tell if there's news. Um, Beijing won't approve current agreement between ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, and Oracle Walmart because the agreement would endanger China's national security interests and dignity. What's the video looking like? Yuck. Gross. Oh. It goes to spy again doing its little fake breakdowns. We just barely tick under and then reclaim. Tick under, reclaim, tick under, reclaim. A lot of selling. And new lows. Nope. Now Roku defying all odds today. Oh, what's Amazon at? 2905. Yeah, see, failed opening range breaks all over the place, man. Failed opening range break, failed opening range break. AMD, new lows in the market. AMD pulling back. Here's that 76 line, that potential first bounce, but the markets are not going in that direction. So, meh. Zoom still defying all. CRM. Now here's an opening range break that has a little bit of attention to it. Um, but you've got this red green stuff. So it's kind of conflicting indicators there. 240 line, 240, 241. And CRM. Buyers are trying to step in on the markets, but they're getting chewed. They are getting chewed. All right, 23 more minutes and then we'll cut this off. And, you know, I'm going to make a decision on what I'm going to do for the day. I'm starting to think I'm not going to do anything. Starting to think it. Mm. Oh man, I'm so tired. Oh boy. Mm, big reclaim in the spy there on that low. Failure to move lower.
Hughes holding S1. I'm going to make a decision here at 1030. You know, zombie times. Um, and if we're reclaiming these lows in the SPY, I'm going to grab some SPY probably. Two minutes here. I gotta, I gotta step away for two minutes. I'll be right back. Not taking any positions.
All right, I'm back. Market's still not reclaiming VWAP. Netflix rejected 480. Q's still can't reclaim VWAP. Supporting S1. Market selling again. Facebook looking okay. Facebook trying to reclaim VWAP. Q's trying to reclaim VWAP. A lot of tickers trying to get back over VWAP, I would assume. Amazon, Apple over VWAP. ZM, just no, stop fucking. Oh, I don't even want to look at ZM. God dang, that's irritating. AMD right off of 76. Nice. Anybody catch that? This isn't my type of trade, but that was the trade. There you go. That was a perfect little thing. I didn't, I don't like, I don't like first bounces personally. It's just not my style. Intraday, intraday testing VWAP. Had to pull back to red green. Go in, moving. Which VWAP do I use? The normal one. Regular VWAP. What's the SPX look like? Daily chart. Yeah, 3,200 SPX almost into the oversold. I don't, I don't think it's time for the longs yet. I see a lot of tickers trying to reclaim VWAP, but market doesn't want to. So we are just going to probably sit on our hands today. Oh, it's DKNG. I keep getting that I'm in this. Oh, man. That was a nice long that I missed. What a buzzkill. got a position there and it continues to work so we are all right market's looking like it wants to go low again looking like it wants to go lower we are inching into this 320 line markets are down 2.2 percent today inching into oversold there's all the all the thesis to be getting long soon. Roku's please. New low of the day? Yeah, no, yay, nay. 323.18. I don't see much here, guys. I don't really see much here. I don't like anything to the short side. My thoughts on PIN and DKNG, my thoughts are on DKNG, I hold a position. So bullish uh, PIN. Looks like a pretty, pretty, pretty similar chart. Yeah, looks pretty similar. Didn't quite have the volume that, see, here's the difference. Pin, this is what we're looking at. Um, DK and G in terms of a, a daily chart like this, this is the type of move I like to see right there. 
So you got that big breakout volume. Um, that's why I think that, you know, DK and G has, um, I'm holding DK and G I've got, uh, call options that don't expire for 60 days. They're $50 call options that I bought at 47. And so like I'm in the money and I'm also in the money. So I've got a lot of padding with it. So my bias on the stock, you don't want to hear my thoughts on this, to be honest with you, because I have a position. Um, I'm, and I have a position for much lower. So my thoughts up here are really going to, they're not going to do you any good, to be honest with you. New lows in the market, it seems. Ticking down, slowly ticking down to that 320. Just be careful, everybody. Be careful. PTON jamming, ZM. Let's just look at it and make myself want to cry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. I hate myself. I hate myself. Man, why don't I have any pivots in this chart? There we go. Yep. That was it. A little blip right there. And I said it too. And I was chickening out. This is the little dip. And I was greedy. Greedy on my entry. And I missed it. It's all right. I'm, I'd rather have my entry than no entry. Even though it doesn't really feel that way right now. All right, here we go. A little red arrow printing on uh, on SPY. Don't worry, Jake. I mean, let me tell you how I would have traded this. I would have bought this dip right here and I would have sold it at 451. That's just, that's what I would do. Simply because just following, just following the plan is, you know, we're at R1. There's all the potential for it to reject right here. I would have bought right here, sold right here, cried up here. Like that would have been it. Oh, is gold tanking? Is gold pulling back, Oren? What's the ticker for gold? I've already fucking forgotten. GC? Gold futures is GC, right? Yes. Okay, GC. Gold getting smoked at the same time the market is getting smoked. That leads some, okay, what's futures doing? What's volatility increasing? GC pulling back, SPY pulling back. Okay. Man, I think it's time to start. I think it's close to getting, getting long. Hang on, I've got to edit this code. This is gonna drive me nuts. This. Yep. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. Da 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 da. Oh. I'm gonna have to go watch Bonanza and get that out of my head. ZM heavy rejection candle there. That's pretty gross. But this freaking one volume bar right here is jacking up the rest. So you got to zoom in or you can't see anything. I'd be a seller here. Absolute seller. We're trading at highs at 1030 on a rejection candle like that. I'd be a seller. 
I'll probably, you know, want to cry again when it's at 480. And this is the only candle I have to look at. But that amount of volume, that amount of selling, that type of close, trading at highs at 1030, I'd be I'd be getting out of a long position. I wouldn't be shorting it. That that's just stupid. But um, I'd definitely be getting out of a long. I would be getting out of that. Man, you are very correct in that curb stomping. Gold is just holy smokes. Thoughts on Facebook, bigger picture? Bullish. Look at the fill of the gap. Like bullish. I agree with you 1000%. This seems like an entire market pullback good to buy into. And I'm going to do it. I'm just waiting. Da -da -da. Facebook. Let's look at Facebook. Oh, fuck, you see all these lines. <laughs> so, dude, I've done so much analysis on some bank of Facebook. Let me click on this up here. Oh. All right, let's let's kind of reanalyze here. Tesla low hanging fruit. I typed LHF. Whoops. <laughs> Tesla. Um, battery day tomorrow, right? I don't think it's. I don't think you. I don't think anybody should be trading Tesla today. Four fifty five, nice resistance though. Obviously, you know now we can say that. Now it's down to four thirty, four forty. <laughs> um, because nobody knew it up here. I was ready for this shit to break out at four fifty five. Um. Yeah, trading. Here's the thing, though. Here, here's the thing, guys. We're going red, um, and now we're touching into these deviation levels at 1030. You know, we could see a quick wash to 430. Okay, cool. Um, but I don't like the odds. I don't like the odds. ZM, there's that pullback. If I had no fear, I would have shorted it but I'm respecting the rules. Spy continuing to pull back. Is the spy strategy first green day? If no, there's no strategy here. There's no strategy here. The, the spy, the spy strat, there's, there's no like, there's no like clear defined like uh, pattern. Um, the pattern in spy. Fuck you. The pattern in SPY is this, um, the fact that like down here, like we're getting into this oversold situation. Yeah, it's a pretty rough candle. Oof, man. Somebody long it, you first. You, you do it. No, Faye, you do it. I don't want to. You do it. 4.30, though, man. 4.30. I don't know. I don't like, I, I don't like the, the forward-looking catalyst, the multiple forward-looking catalysts. Uh, I just, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Market's coming down into 320 level, getting into the oversold situation. I mean, all signs point to getting long soon. Shit, look at that, 430. There it is in Tesla. Wow. Dink. That's a big selling volume. Now watch. Somebody's going to call it a first red day. Watch, watch. Let me go look in channels. Let me go look in some channels. I bet you I can find it. Somebody says Tesla first red day watch. Where is it at? I guarantee you somebody's gonna say it. Give it time, give it time. Oh man. See, zoom, 
You all understand why we wanted to sell it up there? You all understand why we wanted to get out? That sell volume, that candle. I mean, there was all signs indicative. Oh, Faye, now's your time. Get long, 430. Just kidding. 427, 428. It's chewing, man. It's chewing. It's gross. Is there news? Nope, no news. Just selling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, somebody's gonna say it, man. I swear somebody's gonna say it. It's not a first red day. It's not a first red day. It looks like it. Like if you were just like if you didn't know what you were doing, it looks like a first red day. Mm. Four twenty two. It's just chewing. Wow. Good short setups today, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not really, uh, I, I just think we're getting into that zone of, of, uh, the market's just down so much. It's hard to join the short sellers. Q's at lows because Tesla's pulling back. Q's are naturally going to pull back with it. So yeah, new low. Uh, we're just waiting, 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 waiting. Speak and be doing. Pulling back. Netflix. Pulling back. Yeah, it's ten thirty. Time to make a decision. That feeling when you had two fifty. <laughs> yeah. I think you would have had a worse feeling, Oren, had had you bought those puts at 358 and it would have went to 380. I think it would have been a worse feeling. Or if it had gapped down and then just ripped everybody's faces off. I think that would have been the worst feeling. So is American Airlines pulling back? Oh, it is. Look at that. I could see the market closing near the lows today. And then tomorrow we get this little fake washout trap and then we bounce. I could see that scenario. Um, honestly, guys, I think I'm going to wait for the close and then maybe start picking up positions. Uh, 419. Woof. Let's get her go. That would have been a nice short. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm... Sorry. I'm not overly eager to trade today. There's a lot of uncertainty. And so, you know, I've, I've missed I've missed a good handful of trades here. Um, but I just don't really want to do this. Here's the proof in the pudding on ZM, guys. So if this if this pattern is to hold true, it will hold um, VWAP here. You will buy Tesla at 400. All right, let's see. You're gonna buy it. You will buy it at 400. You, and the fact that you will buy it there, it won't go there. It's it's not gonna go there. It's gonna bounce. Watch it. It's just going to bounce all the way back up to 440. Yeah, look at this. Look at that fat reclaim off of VWAP and Zoom. This is textbook opening range break. How did I miss? How did I just? Uh, see, this is the disadvantages of retail trading when you could trade like an algorithm. If you traded like an algorithm, the 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 algorithm would not know that opening range breaks have been failing um, a lot and they would just buy them, right? And so you don't really know the edge of whether it's like 
um, whether the edge is going to stay or whether the edge is going to go that day. It's just the, the algo gets the signals and the algo buys. And so is it, is the algo I'm testing or base? No, it's not. No, it's a trend following. Trend following algo. But the, um, I have tested theories on like an orb based algo and I've kind of, I've found some stuff online too that kind of does it. For example, um, I just don't think it's like very clean per se. Uh, let me show you guys. I'll show you. Maybe. Fuck. I'll try. So here's a system that I'm kind of tinkering with that it, you can see the algo said long it right there. Uh, I don't have the stop loss modified. I need to modify the stop loss. We wouldn't have been stopped out. I just haven't touched it. Um, So this is what I was saying here. So we would have longed it there. I mean, ZM would have longed it there. And then see, I would have sold into that level. And so, I mean, I would have missed out on a shit ton. And so part of what I'm, what I'm testing here is, is, um, is selling half at the target and then holding break even stop with a trailing stop as well. Trailer plus break even. I think that's a good mix. Cues, pulling hard. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to this. That doesn't do you guys any good. So, sorry, I'm not sharing that. <laughs> um, oh, I get the buy sell volume. You got to have the indicator. Natural gas, gold, and silver tanking. Silver futures slash DC is gold. DC still pulling. I forget what the what silver futures are. It's S something, I think. S I there it is. Shoo. So that kind of leaves um, leaves a lot to be desired here. Oh yeah, get ready, Faye. Oh, not E Y T N. Ten year notes spiking, obviously. Gold and silver are pulling back. Um, have a look here. 
Yeah. Where is the 400 line? Yeah, 397, 400, 39. Ah, Tesla almost minus 10% on the day. Yeah, I think a nice bounce is probably going to, is probably getting near. Um, I don't really see much validation for 400 though, besides this high and this bottom and this. I mean, yeah, that's kind of there. Ah, I can see it. Whole dollar. Mm, do your thing. Do your thing. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm more interested in this market pullback. I feel the need. The need for speed. And I feel like we're getting close. I just think a lot of people are going to jump on this, this bear parade. And it's, you know, not going to end well. Oh, shit. They arrest him? Oh, unconfirmed? Oh, okay. <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting if they do. Mm. We got Alex's IG live at 11, right? Yeah. Tesla pulling back. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Let's just make sure people see that. That is unconfirmed. Where do I get the news from? Well, I just clicked this little N on Thinkorswim. That's Benzinga. Free version, but I think I don't know, man. Uh, Spy is super far away from VWAP here. Um, Ten forty-five, roughly. Let's see what this looks like. Why don't I have an hourly chart? Uh oh, anyway, it's all my stupid Zoom meeting thing. Golly, look at the bounce though. Look at this. I mean, that you've got S3 and the 320 line here. This is the ideal entry. So, I mean, I may end up missing this and we may start to bounce, but all right, 322. Oh. Roku dome. You. Wow. Hello, Roku. It's Netflix app. Dud. Get this kill. Mm. I like SPY to start scaling this on the long side. I think time is right. Uh, I think price is getting close. I started some. I'm a really wide star. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> uh, I'm Yeah, I'm long though. I'm long some.
and it's time to bounce. We're really far away from VWAP. We're into this 320 zone, um, past 1030. Hourly charts looking like it wants to uh, sell more, but oh, oh, nice, Spay. Thanks for telling us at 420. Fucking shitty alerts. Great job. Uh, it started at 410. It's 423 right now, Say, 422. Thanks for telling us. All right, so. Yeah, I'm scaling. Scaling in. Some 30-day expiration spy calls. I might be playing a little bit of a lotto here. <laughs> but I like the potential for SPY. So again, keep in mind that, you know, 320 is where I ideally want. So I only took a small starter here. So still below. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm buying, I'm, I'm buying a lot of, um, uh, anticipation here, but I'm I'm looking more at the volume, guys. So if you look at this on the intraday, um, let me let me just hide this fucking band of whatever the hell that is. Let me just show you what I'm looking at here. The volume you can see it down there, but it's the amount of volume that happened on that reversal and the fact of how far we are away. So this is also kind of the theory of, of like, it, it, it's gonna revert back to the mean in theory. So you see how we're extending down into this gray band here. I longed right here um, <clears throat> when I said I did. Faye, what's up Faye? I longed when I said I longed. I didn't just sneakily around like all of a sudden, hey, I'm long from 400 and it's at 423. Um, so I'm long in this, in this band here. And the reason being is that, you know, we, we are like quite far away from VWAP and we're into midday price action. So if bears are going to continue to sell this, then they continue to sell this. But I think that there's odds there that, that we do see a bounce. Um, so I grab some. And we'll see how it goes. But I'm kind of just eyeing the volume. Just eyeing the volume. You see how, what, what I mean is, you see how when we made this new low and we, then we reclaimed that 322 level, you see how this volume bar is, it's, uh, it's creeping up over the rest, trying to creep up over the rest. So I think, you know, if we see some little bits here over 322.50, we can start to boop, 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 boop. And we might go back up here into the 324s. So we'll see. And there we go. Let's see if it closes strong here. What's gold doing? Mm, still gross. Silver. What? PY? Look, I always do that. PN. In your notes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, VIX. What's a VIX at? Shit. Typing all kinds of wrong symbols today. VIX up. 32. 32 zone. Oh, hey. Nice bounce. Nice bounce, spy. Get up there. Get up there. All right. I don't care about Tesla anymore. Nice long pay. Netflix, 469.87. Really not doing anything. Where's Q's at? Let's get back to where we were here. Um, similar situation to the spy. So we'll see. We'll see where this goes. We'll see. We'll see where it leads to here. Do 
could just get this bounce and then just and then continue to fade. But I'm scaling it. Scale it. We got 10 minutes until um, Alex's IG live, right? So I'm going to jump off here. And do that. Another woman coming forward about Trevor groping her when she was 18. In 20. Oh, Jesus Christ. The brains of pores. What do you use gold and silver for? So, um, the theory is people are uncertain about the market. They start putting money in gold. And so kind of my theory in this is, well, what was that? Oh, that was just, my theory is that gold is selling now. And so now that gold is selling and the market is selling, I'm, there's either two things that are happening. One of two things that are happening. Funds are uncertain, right? Billions. What's your level of uncertainty? I am not uncertain. Um, there's a bit of uncertainty in the market. So maybe people are protecting themselves and uh, they're starting to hedge in other areas. So exactly. I'm saying that I'm saying there's a divergence in the correlation. So in theory, if people are uncertain in the in the overall markets, then you should start to see you should start to see people start putting money in gold, such as it, when the interest rates are down. Um, you're gonna start seeing people put money in here. But and you can test a market correlate. You can test a correlation on gold if you want to. So um, you can test the correlation between gold and SPY and uh, or ES is what you'll do. Basically, you'll do it. You'll do a correlation between ES and gold. And uh, I would recommend that a lot of people do that. You can start to see some of the little nuances there. Um, but in terms of that, God dang it, I did it again. I can't remember. E N E N. So the fact that we're getting this really big sell off in gold, uh, along with a market sell off, too, I'm just kind of thinking in my mind that people are. are dumping their gold positions and getting ready to to buy this buy the es again buy the spy positions again so i'm kind of anticipating a little bit i'm kind of a, i'm leading this a little bit um are you recording what yeah yeah this is recording so i'm i'm, I'm anticipating this market pullback um oh new high in the nyse tick there we go Nice, 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 nice. Yep, yep, yep. Here she comes. We'll see. We'll see. I I don't know that it's going to go on another run. I just think we're going to have a bounce. I'm not saying we're going to make a new high. I'm just saying the bounce is, is inevitable. Where it bounces, though, we don't know. But that's the purpose of technical support technical support and resistance we use these lines like this we use 300 320 stuff like that everybody was thinking 300 310 320 and so you know people buy in anticipation of that like i was doing i'm buying in anticipation of a bounce so um that's you know that's the theory so no if i say it's going to make a new high i'm sticking to my analysis i'm not i'm not one of those people that's like um, I think the odds are we sell off, but I really like the odds for a gap up tomorrow. What the fuck? What is, what is that? Like, what's your thesis on that? Like, that was, that's like the stupidest commentary in the world. And some rooms do that. They're like, I like the odds that we close at lows, but I think, you know, I think we gap up tomorrow. So if you think we gap up tomorrow and you think that we close at lows, why not get long? You know, it's like, it, it's, it's, 
it, it's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just you're just trying to sound like super intelligent in every scenario. I want to nail the short, and I want to nail the long, and I want to nail this, and I want it. And I'm like, just pick a side, pick a fucking side. Whoops, slammed my door too hard. And so I just don't think that a lot of people can benefit from commentary like that. So I'm 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 sticking to my long side. That's where I want to be in this situation. I've taken some here. So uh, I think Alex has an IG live in about four minutes. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this off. So uh, let me text or YouTube live. Sorry, not IG live. YouTube YouTube live and live. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube live starting in starting in five minutes, guys. For Alex, y'all make sure you jump in there. See what he has to say for the day over there in small caps. I'm done for this. Um, I'm still um um uh, I'll keep you updated in the large cap stuff, but I'm I'm continuing to buy um spy. So I really like these odds down here for a bounce. Uh, so I'm I'm continuing to to grab stuff slowly and surely, and uh, we'll see where it goes. So I think I think best case scenario on this bounce is 340. It's kind of where my eyeballs land there. 340. I think that you know we 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 could potentially see where are we at in a weekly time frame. I haven't looked at weekly time frame. Four weeks red. Mm. Mm. Nah. I think the odds are this week we close green. This week, odds are we close green. So we're going to close over 325 this week. It's my prediction. Just based on the odds. So, yeah. Yeah, I do limit orders. Nothing, no market orders. I'm not just buying everywhere, you know. The thesis was, the reason why I was buying at 320 was, was uh, or 322 was that the volume came in there at the last little bit. So if like I have this Cobra chart too, so you guys can see this, you can see like you see how much volume came in on that. You see all that volume that came in there. But when you look at this on a different level, um, on this buy and sell volume indicator, you can see that a lot of it was still selling. And so, you know, over 50% of that candle was still selling volume, but we closed, uh, we reclaimed that 322. And so that's why I'm like, eh, that should have continued to, because I mean, when you look at these, like look at these candles, when they're, when they're, when they're blue and red, right? Like this, candle closes red. Candle closes red. Candles red. Candle red. Candle red. Candle red. Red candle. Red candle. Red candle. Rain candle. Mm, that's a divergence in the little pattern there in terms of the volume, and so that's why I like the uh, the fact that this was kind of like a oh oh pump the brakes. Nope 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 nope. So when I see these like blue and reds like this, and you see a lot of sell off. You see these like consecutive bars. You know, consecutive red 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 green. Mm. I think bounce is coming. So that's how you can that's how you can use these little things like that. So all right guys and gals, it's been a pleasure. And uh sorry I didn't get long ZM. I hope some of you did. I didn't. Because I that fucking chicken shit. Uh what a bounce. What a freaking glorious setup. There's Tesla. Let's check out Faye's doing in her position. She's probably already sold, and now she's short. And now she's doing this. <laughs> uh, no, nice, nice bounce, nice bounce there, nice bounce. Oh, you sold. Thanks for telling us. Uh, nice hold on Netflix on 470. Q's touching for 260, 261. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm bullish. I'm bullish. All right, guys. Alex's YouTube live is starting now. So uh, we'll see you in there. Take it easy. We'll be, uh, I'll put this in the library later. Adios.